Round one, got the choice, gonna play first, and ooh, it's a bit awkward. I think we're still gonna keep despite not having a white source. Opponent mulls to six, mulls to five, and keeps. All right, well, ideally that helps us. All right, well, feeling a bit better about all these forests when you draw a twin grove. If we can make it to a twin grove. Green, black. Seder Wayfinder, all right. Self mill, maybe the grind clock comes in. Scudder, flesh at us, hunt, ooh, geez. Well, he completely missed, but... Uh, Gave us some info for sure. Jeez, it's quite the deck. It's a lot of playable good cards. All right, well, we've got the combo too, and we're actually able to play our Constricting Sliver even if we don't see a white source, but we will be needing some more manas to make that happen. I've got a feeling Sliver's going to be a little bit less good against this deck because of the, the old flesh to dust, but... We'll see how heavy removal this fellow is. Hopefully we can see a white source eventually, or any resource for that matter. Alright, not missing his uh he's not missing his drops here. Titanic growth, a little bit awkward. Need one more land to successfully resolve our rhino, and we need a white source to resolve Midnight Guard. But even if we get a white source, we're still gonna be Charging out that Rhino. Trotting him out. Alright. Still taking damage here. We're going to have to draw out of this situation. Oh no. Our opponent is uh, doing fantastic. On a mold of five. He's not missing a beat. Alright. Well, let's get our dude out there first and foremost. That's at least going to hold back the Witch's Familiar and Seder Wayfinder. The Spirit, not so much. Thankfully, we've got the Hunt the Week for that, so... I'm hoping that's uh, all the... all of what we need. Covenant of Blood? Ah, oh, Siege Worm, okay. Alright, well, Siege Worm's pretty good. Let's see if we get a land here. And we don't. Um, that's okay, actually. This is still very good. So, here's the plan. Folks, we're going to be eating the Curse Spirit. Um, and then we're going to be blocking the Siege Worm. And gathering some courage. Now, you maybe you're wondering, why don't you just gather courage and then eat the siege worm? Well, because this guy gets by all of my dudes, so it felt a little bit more appropriate. Hopefully, he hunts the weak siege worm and charging rhino, and I would be living in ecstasy. Shaman of Spring. All right. I imagine he'll attack with siege worm, because he's really hoping to make this trade. What I should have done is tapped out all of my green sources, and uh, that would have hidden that I had to gather courage, because then I would have been able to block and then just cast it for free, tapping my rhino. But I did not, and he successfully played around it. He was worried, rightfully so, and uh, got out of that sitch. So I think we're just going to drop a wall of mulch and pass. Still in build-up mode here. Still don't quite feel comfortable attacking with the Charging Rhino since uh, he's got the Siege Worm and all. 
for cracking back on us. Well, hopefully just Covenant of Bloods are... Well, I guess that wouldn't work. Hmm. Another Siege Worm? Perhaps? Living Totem. Okay. Is he ready to attack with Siege Worm yet? That is the question. Oh, okay. He's not. I see. And a black cat. I'm a bit curious why he pumped the Witch's Familiar. Especially since we have the Wall of Mulch. I'm not sure I agree with that play. Johnny Steadfast, whom I can't play. I see. Alright, well, I guess we're chilling out. In a bit of an awkward place here, since our opponent mulled to 5 and has a substantially more developed board, oddly enough. No attacks from Black Cat, even. Which is... Which is good for us. Alright, let's get a Brawler's Plate out there, I guess. See how that does for us. Still have both Titanic Growth and Gather Courage up, which is nice. But currently not able to attack. Until we can get this Twin Grove online. He's just going pedal to the metal, balls to the wall. At least he doesn't have a double black source, so I don't have to worry about what's its butt. Flesh to dust. Uh, but he is attacking in for an enormous amount of damage on a very well-developed board. So I guess we'll gather some courage here. Go down to seven. Oh, well, I don't think that we're going to win this game anymore. Let's see. If I get a white source, my Ajani immediately is going to die. Ooh, well, if I had two white sources, I could potentially play that. Um, well, this is awkward. Guess we're going to lose to a Hornet Queen. And our opponent mulled to five as well. Wow, that's... Uh, Pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable. Guess I sack a wall of mulch and hope to find something? I'm just shrugging my so shoulders confusedly because I can't think of a single thing that would get us out of this situation. Um, we're very dead. We are very, very dead. We did nothing for many, many turns, which is unimpressive. And uh, does not bode well when you lose against your opponent's mull to five so i'm very unimpressed with our deck's performance and i hope that we can do better in game two do we have a sideboard plan no not really maybe he's aggressive enough where i want to make congregate a thing um uh, can i do anything about a hornet queen no no i don't think i can i didn't get a hot soup so that's not going to work. Life gain, it's decent, I guess, with the Hornet tokens, but life gain in general, eh, not that good. Doesn't really do that much. Maybe I want the Ranger's Guile over the Titanic Growth because of the Flesh to Dust. That I can get behind. And... Yeah, that's all I got. I can't think of a single other thing that would uh, be beneficial against a Hornet Queen. So let's just go again. Hope we draw a little bit better. Well, we've got both colors this time, so I guess that is, in fact, better. All right, let's open this up with a forest. He's like, oh my god, white source. You just played an entire game where I mulled to five, and I beat you without you seeing one.
I'm just going to snap attack into the scutter. Hope he blocks. He most assuredly does not, which means we play a land and pass. No follow-up, which is not good. Definitely not good. Curse Spirit, certainly not uh, not good for us either. Certainly not good for us. Uh, Twin Grove, which looks absolutely dreadful here, actually. Probably looks some of the worst I think it could look, actually, with, with just two forests. Well, I guess the worst it could look would be six mana one ones. Um, but yes, they, they look terrible. They look absolutely terrible right now, so uh, that's not good. So still behooves us to eat the Scudder since we actually can block the Spirit with a Willforged Golem. But uh, not left a ton of options here. I think we pretty much forced to eat the Scudder. Well, Sungrace Pegasus though. There is that. So I can play the Pegasus. Block the Scudder, plus Gather Courage, get completely blown out by uh, Flesh to Dust, Ulcerate. Hunt the Weak, even, is a blowout. I think we just play Constricting Sliver. Here's the thing, why Constricting Sliver feels good. Um, if he kills it, well, it's kind of a double-edged sword, isn't it? If I eat the Spirit, next turn I can play the Pegasus. I think we actually eat the Scudder. Oh, well, it's tough. It is actually a very difficult choice here. Here's why it's a difficult choice. If I take the Scudder and he kills my Sliver, he gets the Scudder back and loses another 3 life, which is actually beneficial for us. If I eat the Spirit... And he kills the sliver. He just gets his spirit back. It wasn't much of a hiccup for him at all. Um, but if I eat the spirit, then next turn I can play the Pegasus to block the Scudder, plus use the Gather Courage. I think I have to set myself up better like that because I'm, I'm just so... I feel extremely far behind right now. Whether or not I am remains to be seen. I imagine if we see a Flesh Dust being slammed on his turn, there's a good chance that uh, we're probably going to lose this, but I'm holding out hope that my Sungrace Pegasus can somehow block that Scudder, gather courage, and gain me some life. Covenant is the guess, which should be very bad. Yes, indeed, and it is indeed very bad. Unfortunately, we have neither Ranger Skyle or Ephemeral Shields in our hand, both of which would have been pretty beneficial at that time. I guess Ranger Skyle not so much, but Ephemeral Shields would have been uh, very much helpful. Now I straight up feel like we're going to lose the game, but what can I do about it, folks? Cannot do anything, so I think we're just going to play the Pegasus. Yeah, I still think we're on Pegasus. I guess I can technically do both and still do the Gather Courage. So this is nice because it keeps it a little more hidden. Um, actually, I should have attacked first, but thankfully it doesn't matter. All right, so now we still get to leave up the Gather Courage, which is very nice.
Flush of Dust for the blowout. Necrobite. Mm. Not as much of a blowout, but still an enormous blowout. So, not feeling very good. Wait. Death Touch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to be like, why didn't I gain life? But I did. It just got canceled out by the Accursed Spirit, which was, of course, unblocked. All right, let's just get Mr. Twin Grove out there so we don't have to discard him. A little bit awkward since Midnight Guard's not going to be uh, untapped, but I would say that's much better than discarding Colonial Twin Grove. Uh, not feeling very good about this game, as mentioned before, but uh, what can I say? Our opponent's deck is extremely hot and good. He did not miss a beat when he mulled to five, and he's certainly not me missing a beat on this uh, on this uh, keep at seven. Trying to think of any potential out here. Nothing is readily coming to mind. Uh, Resolute Archangel. There we go. Resolute Archangel is an out. Another Covenant of Blood. Siege Worm. Okay. Resolute Archangel is our out. Still. Still an out. Yisan? Not so much. Not so much Yisan. Um, I guess I fake like I have something. We swing in. All right, he blocked uh, correctly and is not going to die. So we lost. That's it. Disappointed, of course, with a loss, but uh, what can I say? Our opponent had a good deck. We uh, got destroyed game one on a multi five. Don't have any excuses there. Uh, we just, obviously, we didn't perform well if we can't beat a multi five. And then we got steamrolled game two by uh, a bunch of tricks. We got out tricked and out removaled. So that sucks. Disappointed. Let's go to round two and hopefully do a little bit better.